Hi, Assalamualaikum. Good morning. We meet again for our mathematics lesson. So today, we are going to determine the value of numbers up to 10,000. Compare the value of two numbers, arrange group of objects in ascending and descending order, and also count in ones up to tens, hundred and thousand in ascending and descending order. This lesson, you will be able to first compare the numbers, second arrange the numbers, and third count the numbers. Let's look at our first lesson, compare the numbers. So, you have to know these two terms, larger than and smaller than. Larger than means lebih besar daripada and smaller than means lebih kecil daripada. Sometimes we use another terms more than and less than. Let's look at the example. Look at the sale in conjunction with National Day. The sale for caps is 967 but the sale for flats is 1,835. Let's compare. Which item was sold more? Caps or flats? Which one is more? So 967 is 3 digits number. And 1,835 is 4 digits number. So 4 digits number are larger than 3 digits number. Plus... 1,835 is larger than 967, while 967 is smaller than 1,835. So, we can say that more flags were sold. Let's compare the two four digits number for flags and the badge. Compare. 1,835 with 1,249. Which number is smaller? Okay. First, compare the thousand value first. Let's look at the thousand value. 1 and 1. So, we have equals thousand value. When the thousand value are equals, go to the next number. Compare the hundreds value. 8 and 2. Which one is smaller? So, 200 is smaller than 800. Thus, we say that 1,249 is smaller than 1,835. Or, you can also compare by using this table. Put the two numbers here and compare. Look at the thousand value equals thousand value. The hundred value two hundred is smaller than eight hundred. Eight hundred is larger than two hundred. So we get one thousand two hundred forty nine is smaller than one thousand eight hundred and thirty five. On the other hand, one thousand eight hundred and thirty five is larger than one thousand two hundred and forty nine. Let's try. Okay, try to compare the bash and the kitchen. Which item was sold more, the bash or kitchens? First, compare the thousand value. Equals thousand value. Next, to compare the hundreds value. Two hundreds, they are equal. So, you have to compare the next number, which is the tens value. 4 and 1. They are not equals. So, you say that 4 tens is larger than 1 tens. Thus, the answer 1,249 is larger than 1,217. So, let's try to do this example, this question. Which number is larger? Is it 5,000 or 2,000? 
Yes, correct. Compare the thousand value first. So you get 5,281. 5,281 is larger than 2,158. What about these two numbers? 6,237 and 6,273. Compare the value of thousands. Six thousands, they are equals. So you go for the hundreds. They are also equals. So you go for the place value of tens. Which one is larger? Of course, seven is larger than three. Thus, you get 6,273 is larger than 6,237. Ready for the next question? Okay, which one is smaller? Is it 1 or 6? Compare the 1,000 value. Excellent! 1,006 is smaller than 6,001. While, for these two numbers, which one is smaller? Yes, compare the 1,000 value first, followed by the 100's value. 600 is smaller than 700. We say that 3,670 is smaller than 3,760. Good. Let's go for our second lesson. Arrange number in ascending and descending order. What is it means by ascending? In Bahasa, Ascending order means turutan menaik. You have to arrange the number from the smallest to the largest. Susun nombor daripada yang terkecil ke pada yang terbesar. And descending bermaksud menurun. You have to arrange the number from the largest to the smallest. Ready? Now. Let's look at the example. Arrange the numbers in ascending order. Remember, ascending is for you to find the smallest number to the largest. Which one is the smallest? So, compare the thousand value. They are the same. Thousands value are equals. So, next, you compare the hundreds value. The hundreds values are also equals. So what you have to do is to look at the tens value. Which one is the smallest? Correct. 3 is the smallest. Followed by 4, 5 and 6. So you arrange in ascending order from the smallest to the largest. Alright? Next, arrange the numbers in descending order. Remember to arrange the number from the largest to the smallest. Which one is the largest? Let's compare the thousand value. They are the same. So, thousands values are equal. Go for hundreds value. Which one is the largest? It is the largest. Arrange from largest to smallest. 8 is the largest and 5 is the smallest. You put 1 and 4. What about 7 and 7? Seven? 700 are equal. So you go for tens value. 5 and 8. 8 is larger than 5. So it is number 3, number 2 and 5 is number 3. Arrange from the largest to the smallest. Get the answer? Very good. Fabulous. Okay, try to do this on your own. Try to pause this video and arrange the number according to ascending order. Okay, have you get the answer? From the, from the smallest to the largest. So compare the hundreds value. Which one is smallest? Yes, correct. 3 followed by 8. 9 and 9, they are the same. So you go for the tens value. 
3 is the smallest followed by 4. So arrange the number in ascending order from the smallest to the largest. Smallest to the largest. Good. Try to do this question. Arrange the number in descending order. What you have to do is to compare the thousands value and find the largest number. Yes, it is the largest. But which one is the largest? So you go for hundreds values that are the same. And then next, look at the tens value. So 5 is larger than 4, number 1 and 2. Next, compare this 5,000. Look, 8 is larger than 4. So 8, number 3 and number 4. Arrange from the largest to the smallest. Okay? Understand? Very good. Yay! Let's go for our third lesson. Count the numbers in ones up to nines, tens, hundreds and thousands. Let's look at these two terms. Count on means the number from small to large. What operation to use? You have to do addition. Kena tambah. Count on, tambah. Count back from large to small number. So you have to subtract. Tolak. Operasi, tolak. Count on in ones. Remember, on means tambah. Count on in ones means tambah satu. So from 3,768, small to larger number. Add one. Add another one. Add another one and you get final answer 3,772. So count on, remember, at count on in four. Count on in fours, you have to add by four. So from here, 6,420. Count on, tambah, add four. So you get 6,424. Add another 4 to get 6,428. And another one from small to large, you get 6,432. What about this number here? Because count on means small to large. So this one is smaller number. How to find smaller number? Correct. You have to subtract. Tolaklah. So you get 6,416. What about this one? You have to count back in 9. Remember, count back. You have to subtract. Minus 9. So from here... 9,045, you subtract by 9. Ha, subtract in standard written method to get the answer. Subtract again by 9. And then, subtract again to get 9,018. So remember, count back, maksudnya tolak. Count back in 9, tolak 9. Count back in hundreds. So, what about this one? Remember, from large to small, count back. Daripada besar ke kecil. So, the first number is the largest. So, how to find the larger number? You have to add. Add 100. Ha. The rest of the question, just minus 100. Mine is wrong. Suppose it. 8,030 here followed by 7,930. It's time for your exercises. What you have to do is to complete the exercise in activity book page 6, page 7 and page 8. 
and don't forget to do the module for week 3 okay so have fun and remember to send all your homework to our telegram channel mathematics 3 uia okay guys bye assalamualaikum